Hey everyone, it's Mr. Martin, and today we're going to use Onshape to build a toy train. We're going to build just the body of the toy train today. Um, and if you're in my class, I have made a project file for you that you can get into. Um, if you didn't, if you're not in my class, um, you're more than welcome to create your own project file in Onshape and follow along. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new sketch on the front plane. Uh, I'm going to turn my view cube so I can see it better. And I'm going to make, draw some lines. Uh, this is going to be vertical and two and a half inches. I'm going to escape out of that. I'm going to draw a horizontal line that's two inches. And a, another vertical line that is two and a half inches. And escape. And then I'm going to make a um, three point arc. Nope, I'm going to make a center point arc. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click the two endpoints that I created here. And nope, that's not right either. Do a three point arc, click the two center points here, and then just click up here. Um, and then we're going to dimension how far the center point is from the bottom of this shape. And we want that to be half an inch. So there is our fully constrained shape. That's going to be the main part of our body. We're going to finish the sketch, go back to our main view, and we are going to extrude this now. And we're going to extrude it 5.5 inches. And hit finish. Then I'm going to create a sketch on this front face here. And it's just going to be a line that's horizontal and touches both sides. And it's going to be a distance of 0.875 inches from the bottom. Then we're going to extrude and we're going to click this region here. And instead of adding, we want to remove. So it's going to take away material and we want to remove 3.75 inches and then finish our extrude. We're going to place another sketch on the front of our body. This time we're going to make a circle. Uh, we're going to kind of just make it here off to the side. It's going to be one and a half inches in diameter. And what really matters about the circle is that we get it uh, dimension properly. So it's going to be 1.375 inches from the bottom and it's going to be one inch from the side. So once we have that good, go back to our main view and we're going to extrude this circle shape. We're going to add it backwards. We're going to say it's going to go up to next and hit the green arrow and we're going to go on to what I think is probably the most complicated thing about this build which is making an offset plane that is going to be offset a certain distance above this surface that we've created so when we click this button and then we click this surface it brings up this plane dialog box and we're going to have it offset and it's going to be offset a distance of 1.25 inches which is exactly the height of the um, cylinder so if you look at the front it's the height of the cylinder um, now we could select plane one and we can you know we can move it around if we want to make it bigger so it makes a little bit more sense visually and now we're going to make a new sketch on this plane one that we just created and I'm going to look straight down on it and I'm going to make a half inch hole, sorry, a half inch circle. So 0.5 inches and it's going to be dimensioned. The center point is going to be 0.875 inches from the front of our train body and it's going to be one inch from the side. Right. 
and let's get to a, the view we want. So this is going to be a hole that we're going to make. So we're going to use a remove extrusion. So we're going to click extrude, click that circle we made, and we're going to remove it. We're going to remove it down 0.25 inches. And it good. Next up, we're going to make a sketch on the side of the train. So this right side. And we're going to make two holes. Our first one is going to be 0.25 inches. Our second one will also be 0.25 inches. And we need to dimension where they are. So the center points of these circles are a half inch from the bottom. And the distance from the back edge of the right circle is going to be one inch. And the distance of the left circle from the front edge will also be one inch. We're good to go with those. And we have two circles there. Now we're going to remove extrude these holes through the entire body of the train. So we can click both of them. No, that's not working. That's not what I want. Let's try again. Extrude hole one and hole two. We're going to remove and then we're going to go through all. And then if we look here, we should see, be able to see through the holes we just created. Next, we're going to draw another sketch on this right side of the train body. Uh, this time focusing on a little linear kind of circular thing we got going on. Um, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to make a center point circle. Just place it around here. It's going to be half an inch in diameter. The center point of the circle is going to be 1.75 inches from the bottom of the train body. And it's going to be half an inch, sorry, 0.25 inches from the back. After we have the circle drawn, we're going to draw just two horizontal lines. One and two. We're going to make sure that these lines are tangent to our circles, to our circle. Um, and then we can use the trim tool to trim off the ends and trim the interior of the circle. And that didn't intersect correctly, so we will just do that and be good with that. We can finish our sketch. Um, if we wanted to, we could move this dot in so that it terminates here at the edge, but I don't think that it matters. Let's see. So we're going to cut this shape through now. So remove. We're going to say through all. Okay. Yeah, that looks perfect. After we've cut those holes, we are going to fill it. And we're going to round off these corners. So where it says radius, we're going to change the radius to 0.1 inch. And then we're just going to select these interior surfaces here. Rotate this edge there. I think those are the three that I want for this part. So it's circular, radius, variable fillet, nope. And we're going to hit OK. So those are rounded now. And then we're going to do the same thing. Fill it 0.1 inch. And we're going to round basically every squared off edge that we can see. We're going to round it off. It's a lot of clicking. It's 
think that's everything. Just click around and kind of inspect and see if we missed anything. I think we're good. So now we're going to change the material type. To do that, we're going to right click part one in the browser here. Say assign material. And in my class, I print in PLA almost all the time. So we're going to change the material to PLA and hit the green button. And then we're good to go. Um, your teacher might have you take a picture of your train body with the mass properties um, up. And to do that, you can just right left click part one and then hit the scales. And that'll bring up the mass properties of part one. Hopefully you found this tutorial video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, and I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, this has been Mr. Martin for Mr. Martin's Classroom.